Ibn Jubair relates that Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu asked me, are you married? I replied, I was not. He then said, get married. Because the best of the ummah had the most wives. He was referring to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tazawwaj fa inna khayra hadhi al-ummati aksaruha nisa'an. Meaning Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best in this ummah. And he had the most wives. So there is no harm in getting married. Oh, uh, 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 Ibn Jubair, get married. Over here comes the subject of, uh, you know, uh, how can I say it? Uh, marrying more than one woman. Now you can look at it from the man's side and the woman's side. Women won't like it, man will like it. Now the women should be considerate with their husbands. As I mentioned before, that extra amount of jealousy should be brought under control. And uh, if there is a reason there, some reason, then you know you should be considered. This person. I was reading this kitab and it says in there that this um, non-Muslim English person asked one of the Muslim brothers talking about marriage on this subject and he said, you know, you Muslims, you have, you know, this, you can marry second, third time. How nice it is. He said, my wife has been uh, disabled for so long and, uh, you know, I have to look after her, take care of her and for fulfilling my desire, I have to go outside and fornicate adultery how nice was it if my country and my culture also permitted me to have a second wife and i can have legitimate children from her from, from her and I, I can also enjoy that freedom which you have so sometimes there are reasons for a person to get married again so we should think of that islam only permits it because of those various reasons this is from the woman's side from the men's side you should not be greedy and lustful and you know for no reason you try to go and get a second wife you should behave properly think properly because with a second wife comes many many uh, uh, stitches attached as well you have to do insaf and justice between both of them you have to spend one night here and one night over there do justice between them if you treat one more favorably than the other then there is injustice and you will be held to account for that for example you go to one's house after maghrib and to the other's house after isha so the extra hours you give to one you will be held to account for that so even in this relation you have to be just in it throughout the day you give time over here you have to give time over there you have to give expenses over here you have to give expenses over there as well so there should be justice in saf between both of them. If a person has two wives and he is unjust with them, then there is wa'id that on the day of Qiyamah, he will come in a state of limping. He will be paralyzed like a person who has a stroke. So he will be limping and people on the day of Qiyamah will realize that this person used to treat his wife unjust, unjustly. So uh, you have to keep this in mind, this fairness, equality, justice, if you are able to do it, if you are a nice person, you are humble, you can treat them fairly equally and you have some reason, okay, otherwise be content with the wife you have. Quran, when permitting more than one wife said, فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا فَوَاحِدَةً If you have fear that you won't be able to do adl and justice between them, then just marry one only. And this is the instruction from there. So, in this culture over here we have today, we should try and be content with whatever Allah provides for us and stop all these arguments and habits of thinking about second wife all the time. Some people get into this conversation and then they go into arguments and then they get divorced and they don't, uh, rather than having two, they are left without, with none and the first wife goes as well. And sometimes a person gets married with two, someone came to Hazrat Thanvi. And he said, I want to marry a second time. So at the time we asked, you know, he noticed that he's a poor person. He said, how many homes do you have? I said, I only, he said, I have only one house. So at the time we Ramtullah said, okay, you can get married. But if you get married for a second time, then you will need three houses. One for one wife and one for the second wife and third for yourself when they both kick you out. I went to this place and one of my friends, Aziz Bai, he had two wives. So, you know, I was in Ramzan, I would see him in, you know, in the masjid. So, masjid is empty and he is alone inside the masjid. 
ऐसा रजीज भाई वॉट यू डूइंग इन मस्जिद एट दिस टाइम ऐसे क्या करूँ मोर साहब इधर जाता हूँ तो वो खिंच खिंच करती उधर जाते वो खिंच के मस्जिद में आके बैठ जाता हूँ सो दी यू विल हैव टू फेस ऑल दिस सो यू विल हैव टू थिंक रियली केयरफुली बिफोर गेटिंग मैरिज बी कंटेंट विद वॉट अल्लाह हज गिवन यू एंड डोंट गो डाउन दिस लाइन अदरवाइज you know you will be held to account on the day of qiyamah you will have to face the severe reckoning